Welcome to Inspratech's overview of parametric solid modeling with SolidWorks 2008. In this lesson, we'll look at how to manipulate our files within SolidWorks, what the SolidWorks parametric solid modeling file types are, including parts, assemblies, and drawings. We'll also look at what parametrics are and how parts relate to each other, to themselves, and to assemblies and drawings. So what is a parametric solid modeling CAD software package? Well first let's look at the word CAD and CAD is an acronym for Computer Aided Design. CAD software packages come in both two-dimensional and three-dimensional. In our case, SolidWorks is a three-dimensional CAD package. Next term we're going to look at is parametrics. What do parametrics refer to? Well, parametrics refer to a model that can be changed by simply changing parameters used to create it. These parameters include both dimensions and relationships. And lastly, what is meant by the term solid model? Well, a solid model is a CAD model that is defined by its volume and not simply by its exterior surfaces or a wireframe. So SolidWorks is a CAD package, it is a parametric CAD package, and it is a parametric CAD package that uses solid modeling techniques. But let's look at the various SolidWorks file types. The first SolidWorks file type is a part file and parts come together to form assembly files. Then both parts and assemblies are brought into drawing files which are two-dimensional views of our three-dimensional parts and assemblies. Now, to cover the concepts in this lesson, we have five examples. In example one, we'll begin manipulating views within the environment. In example two, we'll open our SolidWorks assembly and look at what an assembly file is. Example three looks at part files. Example four looks at drawing files, and finally example five displays parametrics and shows how parts and assemblies relate to each other and to drawing files.